These are the materials that you're going to be needing to create your multi-loop bow. You're, of course, first of all, going to need some gum paste. The bow that I'm making is white, so I'm leaving my gum paste white. And you will be needing, of course, a lot more gum paste than this because you'll be creating a total of 24 loops. The next thing you will need is a ruler. That's, of course, only if you want to have uh, your measurements be exact, which I highly recommend so that all of your loops are the same size. You're going to need a brush for your edible glue. And then, of course, you'll need some edible glue. I have a little spatula that I use here to help me pick up some of the gum paste while I'm working so I don't get my fingers too dirty. You can pick one of these up at any craft store. It's by the brand called Slice, and I got this at Hobby Lobby. I have also seen these at Michael's. You don't have to use this, just use any little tool that you'd like just so that you can pick up some of your gum paste. I use these little foam pads a lot when I'm creating toppers and decorations in the studio and you'll recognize it because it's the little foam makeup uh, pads that we use to apply makeup and what I do is I just take scissors and cut these up to give me these little pieces that's going to help us hold up our wire. You're going to need a rolling pin to roll out your gum paste. If you have the alphabet cutters from FMM, you'll know that your cutters came with this strip cutter. And I love this thing. If you don't have a strip cutter of any, of any type, then you will just use your ruler and a blade to cut even size strips. You're going to need a needle nose plier or needle nose pliers to bend your wires. You're going to need some wire cutters. And then, of course, your choice of blade, either a straight blade or an X-Acto knife. You're going to need some floral tape. This is towards the end when we start assembling our bow together. And then you're going to need some wire. I use 18 gauge wire. This uh, wire is 18 inches long. And when I purchase it at craft stores like Michael's or Hobby Lobby, it comes in this large a little brown envelope so make sure you use 18 gauge or stronger uh, remember when it comes to wire guys the smaller the gauge the stronger the wire okay so 18 gauge or smaller number and then we also use a lot of foam pads in the studio and I use these to dry my loops if you don't have foam pads then you can just use you know wax paper or parchment paper but of course they will take longer to dry so I recommend you guys go to a craft store and get yourself some large foam pads okay let's get started okay the very first thing that we're gonna do is prep our wire for our loops and what I do is I take my 18 inch long wire and I'm going to divide it into three pieces and it doesn't have to be exactly the same so I just more or less eyeball it wherever I think is a third of the way so then I take this one here and cut that in half okay and so there's three three pieces of wire and they're more or less the same size okay now I'm going to show you one that I've already looped and this is the this is the shape that we're going for okay so what you do is take one of your pieces of wire okay and I put it inside of my needle nose plier. Make sure it doesn't stick out this way. You just want it a little bit inside the, the mouth of the plier. And then clamp down pretty hard and then wrap the wire around. And I wrap it around until the end touches the wire here. So this is the look that you're going for. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing to my other remaining two pieces clamp down and wrap the wire around. Okay, make sure that it's closed. You don't want a tiny loop and you don't want a super big loop either. I need to close that one a little bit more. Okay. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is, or I'm going to explain to you very quickly how it is that we figure out uh, what size of gum paste to cut out. 
with our strips. So I have I have a loop here already made. This is what your loop will look like when it's already made. And the strip here that I cut out is exactly seven inches long. So when I fold it in half, the distance here is three and a half inches long, okay? Now the way that I figured out what size of loop I want is because I already know what size cake tier this, this uh, multi-loop bow is going to go on. So I have a cake board here that is exactly eight inches in diameter and this is gonna be my client's top tier. This is the size that she's using. So I'm gonna make a multi-loop bow that's gonna fit perfectly on top of this eight inch tier. So if I know my cake tier is eight inches, you want the loop, the multi-loop bow, to take up the majority of the space of the top tier. So I want to leave at least a little bit of room here, okay? So the way I determined was if I have an eight inch tier that the bow is going on, then if I put two of these loops together and when they are all uh, assembled, this is more or less how much space it's gonna take up on, on my cake board. So when I add these two together, it gives me a total of seven inches in length. So if one of my gum paste strips is seven inches folded in half, that means that the length of one loop is three and a half inches. So I hope that makes sense. So once this loop is on, or this bow is on the tier, this is how much space it's gonna take up on the cake. So I hope that makes sense, okay? Now, I'm going to show you guys how to create one two or three loops here. That way you'll get an idea of how you do it. So I take some gum paste. And what I like to do is cut out maybe four or five at a time. And that way I just have them ready and I get a few done very quickly. And you know, if you have uh, something to keep your gum paste moist in, you're welcome to cut out more if you'd like. That way you can work quicker. Your first time out, you might want to just do a few so that you can practice and take your time. So you want to knead your gum paste to make sure it's nice and pliable. And when we roll it out, it should take out the majority of the wrinkles. So just try to work it a little bit in your hands so that there's not a lot of cracks and wrinkles on your gum paste. And because I want my strip to be seven inches long, I am gonna roll it out pretty, pretty big. If you're gonna be making a bow for a smaller tier, then again, figure out you know how long you want your individual loops to be. You want to roll out your gum paste to about one eighth of an inch in thickness. You don't want it too thick, but of course you don't want it too thin. So this feels about right to me. Maybe a little bit more. And then I'll show you guys the thickness of the gum paste. So if you can see there in the video, about an eighth of an inch in thickness, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and use my strip cutter to cut out a few strips. If you don't have this strip cutter, then what I also uh, do a lot is I just put my ruler on here and I just take any blade and you can just cut straight lines this way. This strip cutter, again, is one inch in diameter. You don't have to make your loops this thick. You can make them even thinner if you want, okay? So, I'm not using my ruler, but I am going to use my strip cutter. And I'm gonna cut out about three of them. 
so that I can show you guys how to make a few of the loops. So you press down. There's one of them. This entire strip cutter is exactly nine inches long. So since I need a seven inch strip, I'm going to cut some of it off by measuring right now with my ruler. There's three. And there's four. Okay. Go ahead and wrap up your uh, extra gum paste right away so that it doesn't dry out on you. Okay, there's my four strips. And I need each one to be seven inches long. So I take my ruler and then you want to make sure that the strip is straight. You don't want it all wavy so I push my ruler up against the strip to make sure it's perfectly straight. And then here's my seven inch mark. So I just cut exactly where it's seven inches. So when I fold this thing in half, the length will be exactly three and a half inches long. Okay, so there's one of them. I'll do the same to all my other ones. I prefer to get exact measurements. That way everything is nice and uniform. You don't have some loops longer than the others. And the last strip. Okay, so there I have four strips. All right, 